Hey guys, welcome to another first of the month video. I'm Noah Kowser. We are talking change today. Change. Every single one of us desires change in our own life, in our relationships, in our health, in our finances. But so many times there is a gap between us desiring change and realizing change, actually seeing real transformation. How do we close that gap? Let's talk about it. I think if we're all going to be brutally honest, we really truly desire change. We see things in our life, in our health, in our mind, in our thoughts, in our relationships as they are, and then we see them as they could be. But so many times, we don't realize that change. See, I see this firsthand in working in a middle school. I'm a middle school PE and health teacher. My job is to inspire and to motivate young people to want to change their life for the better. And I'm pretty good at it, hey? I see kids all the time with this desire for change. I can see it on their face when I'm talking to them and when I'm speaking to them. I can see this light bulb go on that there is a better way to live, a better way to talk about yourself, a better way to treat others at school. But then there's a gap between that moment of inspiration to actually walking it out and working it out and realizing that change. And I see this in my own life as a human being, just like you. I have constant desire for change in how I am as a father and how I am as a husband to Megan and how I am as an employee or as a, as a teacher. I, I, I have a desire for change. And I was driving the other day and I was listening to this podcast. Brendan Bouchard, by the way, if you haven't tuned into him, he's got like one of the most successful podcasts on the planet. But he was talking about this exact same thing. He was talking about the gap, the gap between the desire for change and actual transformation. And he said the key to that actual process is something called awareness or intentionality. You and I need to be self-aware. You and I need to start happening to our life rather than just letting life happen to us. You and I need to be proactive in our situations, in our relationships, in our workplaces, in our schools, rather than being reactive. And we do this through intentionality. How do we become more intentional? How do we become more aware? Through using triggers. Yes, triggers. We think of triggers as negative things, as something that, that, that triggers this emotion or that stirs up this, this negative thing in our past or this traumatic event that we went through. And that is true, but triggers can also be used for the good. Brendan suggests using a location-based trigger. He calls them doorway triggers. Basically, he has a short phrase that he will say to himself in his head anytime he walks through the doorway at work. Now, I've used this for myself that because sometimes when I come home from school after working with 130 teenagers all day long, I don't feel like the dad of the year. I don't feel like I instantly want to just go 110 miles an hour with my three-year-old running around the house. But that's my job. That's where I need to shine, right? They only have one dad and it's me and I want to do my best. So the trigger that I use when I walk through the door, I remind myself, you get one shot to raise these boys. They need you. They love you. <laughs> And I just remind myself of that when I walk through the door and it changes my attitude. It changes the whole game. When I walk into school <laughs> and I roll up at the middle school that I've been for over a decade, I don't always feel like being the most enthusiastic teacher. I'm sorry. I'm not, I, don't, I don't. I don't always feel like working with teenagers. But when I walk through that door, I remind myself one short trigger that sets my intention for the day. I say, Noah, you don't have to, you get to, <laughs> right? I don't have to work with these kids. I get to work with these kids. I don't have to be their teacher. I get to be their teacher. And when you set that intention, when you trigger yourself, it changes your behavior. That desire to be a good teacher and the actual transformation can happen because I've set that awareness. Maybe this looks like for you. Maybe this looks like at school. 
Maybe you want to change the way that people treat each other at lunch. Maybe you have a trigger when you walk through that cafeteria door and you say, I can be the change that somebody needs. And that sets your intention as you walk down to eat your Lunchables and your snack pack. Maybe you have a location-based trigger when you walk into work or when you walk into home. Location-based triggers can be huge for setting your intention, recalibrating your desire for change and positivity in this life. The second way that we can trigger ourselves is through our shiny phones. These can be either incredible tools for distraction and self-loathing and comparison, or they can be incredible tools for own, our own awareness and intentionality. I have three alarms set in my phone to remind me who I am, because sometimes I can forget that throughout the day. I have one that goes off at school that reminds me that I'm a leader, that reminds me that I'm a change agent, that reminds me that I might be the only positive person that these students come in contact with all day long. And when I see that alarm, because when your phone buzzes, you look at it. We're trained like small dogs, even me. And I go, dang, that's right, that's right. And I go into the school day. I go into fifth period with a different intention than I would have without that trigger on my shiny device. The third way that we can trigger ourselves is through an activity-based trigger. An activity, something that you do all the time. Right? I drive every single day about 20 minutes to and from work. When I step in that car, I remind myself, this is the most dangerous thing you will do today. Be awake. <laughs> I don't want to die in a car accident. Right? I don't want to be distracted and not be fully present. Remind yourself these triggers in something that you do every day. Maybe it's getting ready. Hello. Maybe it's looking in the mirror. Maybe it's reminding yourself and telling yourself that you're beautiful, that you're better than you think you are. Man, what a different day you would have if you started off telling yourself what kind of day you're going to have. Today, we're going to be a change agent. Today, we're going to love people. Today, we're going to value and appreciate ourself. Set that trigger in that activity that you do every single day. Maybe it's lacing up your shoes and you remind yourself that you're walking out purpose, that you're walking out a life that is destined for impact. I don't know what it is for you, but that's the cool thing. You get to turn off this video here in a second and you get to make this real for yourself. You get to take it home and make it real for you. You get to trigger yourself in all the positive ways and see the actual change happen. That's the beautiful thing about this. That's the best part of this video, is that you can actually take these steps, you can actually take these triggers by location, by a device or a time, or by an activity, and you can trigger yourself and your intention and your awareness to see the change you want in your life, in your relationships, in your school, in your family, in your community. Imagine the things you could do if you were just aware and you were just intentional. I dare you to try this and actually take it home for yourself. Let us start living lives on purpose. Let us start happening to our life rather than just letting life happen to us. Set triggers throughout the day to remind yourself who you are, where you're headed, and the goals that you want to accomplish and watch and see as you change and radically impact the world around you. We love you guys, we love hearing from you guys. I feel like there's so many of you out there that we never hear from. Comment below, hit us up on Instagram. Guys, the whole reason we make these videos is to, to help you and help you change your life as we look to change ours. If you're not already a subscriber, please do us a favor and hit that button. Turn on the little notifications by hitting that bell. Come back the first of every month. Share this video. I mean, I always hear from people how helpful these videos are. That's awesome. But there's somebody out there in your circle, in your life, who needs this. So stop what you're doing right now and text them a link. Just one person. Just one person in your circle that you're like, dang, 
she needs this. Oh, he needs this. Just text him. Send him a simple text and say, I was thinking of you. I saw this video from this crazy health teacher in Montana. I hope it blesses you. We love you guys. We'll see you next month. Adios.